We've all needed to pee so bad we thought our bladder would burst. But did you know just how catastrophic the consequences would be if you weren't able to make it to the bathroom on time? Imagine you're at a rockin' house party sipping on your sixth can of old Milwaukee beer, and then you feel it. The mounting pressure right below your stomach. Yeah, that's your bladder all right, and it's letting you know it's time to go. You rush to the bathroom, desperate to relieve yourself, only to discover about 20 people are in line. Looks like it's gonna be a while. So while you're waiting, why don't you take a look at exactly what's actually going on inside your body. As you wait for the bathroom, you are exercising your bladder muscles, specifically your external sphincter, to make sure you don't inadvertently pee yourself, which is something we like to call bladder control. Now, humans have a complicated relationship with bladder control, to say the least. When we're born, we don't really have any. And as a baby, the only thing you love more than peeing on yourself is probably pooping on yourself. But as you grow older, your bladder control, hopefully, develops. This means you're able to tell your brain, hey, why don't we wait until we're in the bathroom to get this pee party started? Fortunately, the human bladder can hold up to two cups of urine and your bladder only starts sending your brain signals to pee when it's at 50% capacity, giving you some runway to work with when assessing your peeing options. But while our brain is capable of overriding these signals for quite a while, holding your pee for too long can be a really bad thing. Don't get us wrong, holding it in once in a while, although uncomfortable, is no biggie. However, repeatedly holding your pee for a long time can have debilitating effects on your body. Doing so stretches out your bladder and weakens your external sphincter, which can lead to the development of serious conditions like loss of bladder control and urinary retention, which means no matter how many times you go number one, you're never quite able to fully empty yourself, which means you feel like you need to pee all the time. And general uncomfortability isn't the only downside to this. Urine itself is a waste product. It's created by your kidneys, which use the excess water in your body to filter out toxins and other nasty byproducts from your system. Peeing when you feel the urge is good because it promptly removes these toxins. However, letting pee sit in your bladder for a while can cause a plethora of other problems. If you wait too long, the bacteria in your pee may have the chance to multiply, giving you a nasty urinary tract infection, or UTI. Also, if your urine has high levels of uric acid and acetate, a delayed trip to the bathroom can allow these components to crystallize, causing kidney stones. And if you or someone you know has ever had to pee out a kidney stone before, you'll know that's something you want to avoid at all costs. If you ignore our warnings and go a really, really long time without peeing, things can get pretty rough. It's rare, but people have been known to burst their bladders just by holding in their pee. Take the case of Tycho Brahe, a Danish astronomer with a golden nose. He lost his real one in a duel. Brahe passed away simply because he was too polite to leave a banquet to go and pee. It was only when he returned home later that night that he discovered he wasn't able to go at all. Descending into a delirium, Brahe passed away painfully after his bladder finally burst. Now, it's worth noting that Brahe's situation is fairly uncommon. For starters, table manners are a lot more lax these days, so you don't have to feel too guilty about excusing yourself to go to the bathroom. But secondly, Brahe may have had a bladder issue to begin with. Most people in a situation would have peed themselves long before their bladders exploded. However, there is one important factor in Brahe's story that still has a role in endangering bladder health today, and that's alcohol. That's right, alcohol consumption can severely increase your chances of bladder rupture. Drinking causes your body to produce more urine and also dulls your ability to sense how full your bladder is, as the alcohol overrides communication between your bladder and brain. Excessive alcohol consumption can even override the signal that makes you automatically pee when your bladder is overflowing, which is inevitably going to result in a burst bladder. If all this burst bladder talk has got you on the verge of wetting yourself, remember it's pretty rare that it happens at all. And it's worth remembering that holding your pee occasionally is fine. It's only when you have to do it repeatedly that serious complications can emerge. Generally speaking, though, the sooner you pee, the better. Especially if you don't want to be using adult diapers in your 50s. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe to the Brainiac YouTube channel. There you'll find tons of interesting videos on the often amazing, sometimes disgusting inner workings of the human body. Ah, oh, there. Bathroom's free. Do your bladder a favor and open the floodgates. See you, Brainiacs.